Vitamin B12 is one of these uh, vitamins that was actually found by accident from a disease known as pernicious anemia. And this is not good because this is where there's a big decrease in red blood cells, and red blood cells carry oxygen around the body. In the 1920s, a, a guy, a physician named uh, George Whipple, started doing some experimenting where he induced this whole low bl red blood cell count in dogs, which is very sad because dogs, I love them. And he started doing some experimenting with foods to see you know, what would happen. And he noticed liver really helped a lot. And this became like the cure for a while. And then in, the 19, in 1947, a bunch of health experts found out what was in liver that did all this helpful stuff. And they named it vitamin B12. Now besides this uh, red blood cell thing, this vitamin does really amazing things. Very, very good. For starters, it can help uh, convert carbohydrates into energy in the body. This really uh, decreases lethargy and that feeling of not wanting to do, do anything. Um, and also helps with uh, someone shedding those some unwanted weight pounds. Uh, here's a question. you ever have a trouble falling asleep? Like your brain will not stop moving and thinking? Well, if so, vitamin B12 may help. Because it helps make a melatonin and that's the hormone responsible for you going to sleep and it also helps make serotonin and that's the feel-good hormone that has that calming effect which is good uh, here's another question do you care about like hair uh, skin skin care hair growth nails stuff like that well, if you're like a, a bald dude guy like me, then maybe no, but if you're normal, then perhaps. And this stuff really helps because it helps cells regenerate. It's also very good for the brain, uh, preventing brain shrinkage. Doesn't sound good. And the nervous system. Plus, it protects someone against cancer. Not bad. Heart disease, the cholesterol levels, uh, protects against high blood pressure, strokes. And it can even enable someone to walk on water. Okay, last part wasn't true, but I just, just want to see if you're paying attention still. Now, I highly recommend taking some sort of supplement to get this vitamin. Uh, the reason why is because, uh, well, our food really doesn't have a nutritional value like it used to, okay? And it's very important to get enough of this stuff. Now, not all supplements are created equal. <clears throat> Did you know that between 2007 and middle of 2012, the FDA in the United States received more than 6,300 reports of some serious adverse effects of someone taking supplements? So here's a question. How do you even know that the supplement you're taking is going to be good for you, healthy? How do you even know it, it says, what's, says what it's going to do on the label? And how do you know the ingredients are on there? And, well, you don't. You're kind of trusting the supplement company. I mean, if you trust government agencies like the FDA, the, the truth is they don't really analyze all of them. They don't have the, the time or resources. They think it's your job. Now, due to all this confusion, I actually created this guide slash report on the process of shopping for and choosing supplements. You can kind of walk someone through you know, how to pick a good brand from a risky bad one. Uh, all kinds of herbal remedies and kind of break them down, even doses amounts. So I, I, I really think it can help some people out there. Now, I could easily charge for it. I could. Um, but I decided to make it free. It's sort of like this gift for enrolling in this, uh, this video newsletter all about this topic of supplements. So you really have no excuse not to at least take a glance at it and see what I could do for you. It's free. Um, and to do that, all you got to do is simply click on the link uh, directly below this video. I uh, hope this was somewhat helpful to some people out there. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great rest of your day.